Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and we are live. Alright. We are back in Firelink Shrine after making our Estus Flask a plus two. We are doing the Undead Parish. Alright guys, still a jerk. And I think we're gonna go for the little guys we like to call the Bell Gargoyles. Wait a second. That's not a fast roll. That, however, is a fast roll. So now that shield I'm not using, we gotta get rid of it. Look at that fast roll. Oh, it's beautiful. Put shield on. medium roll. Not okay. To fix that, you get more endurance. But we don't need a shield right now. Try humanity. Need humanity. Um, sneaky. Do some more guillotine attacks. That guy gave me humanity. He's a, a gentleman. Attack at range, and guillotine attack. These guys are called Balder Knights, because they are from the kingdom of Balder. Feeling a little, ooh, a little frisky. I like summoning orange stones. Oh, feels good right now. Feels good. Read message. Try wings. 177. It's got a Solaire icon. I love it. I don't know if I've ever seen 177. It's try wings because it's floating. It all makes sense. Alright. We're going to go back to this bonfire. I don't know. I'm going to probably have a level or two we could do. And plus we want to be safe for the bell gargoyle. So why not? Life? Hmm, good question. Tight spot. True. Andre beating away at his anvil. Rest it up. Could go human. To summon to show shut ah, to show summons, but I don't really want to do that. More endurance, I guess. One level, level 18, not too bad. All right, let's go kill some bell gargoyles. 10 Estus flasks because I was at Firelink and I haven't used any yet. Uh, some people have trouble with bell gargoyles. I remember bell gargoyles, bell gargoyles were pretty tough the first time I did them. It's just like everything else in this game, it's just a matter of learning the fight. And there's some tricks to make it easier. And we are going to absorb those. Observe? Absorb? Absorb? Wow. Absorb. No. Absorb. Yeah. Close enough. Alright. So, despite my lack of speech, we are going to go up this staircase, and there will be a Boulder Knight waiting. He's going to get poked. He's going to get double poked. I'm not sure I hit him. Whatever. He's going to get stuck on me for an extended amount of period time. Okay. This part is surprisingly a little tricky. These little dudes just keep coming. Depending on what type of weapon you have, the halberd is actually amazing for its... Well, not for its kicking power, but for its poking power. If you have, like, a high arc weapon, these guys just keep coming, and you could be in the wrong direction, but with a pokey, as long as you don't miss, attack the wall, you're good. Two for one. Can we get a jump shot in? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and I wanted to show you that you don't need a shield to parry. Or, or you don't need a shield to not get hit. Alright, well, this doesn't... Let's see, there you go. When you don't mess up, it's beautiful. Oh, the halberd through the body. Nothing but that. Yeah, so you can parry with your wrist. It was what the point of that failure was. It's actually a pretty quick swing, too. Broken straight sword. Pretty useless unless you're making an Arturius weapon, which you gotta be all over the place to do. Okay, 
and fun tidbit, the Arturius weapons... Um, the Soul of Sif can be used to make the Arturius, the two Arturius swords and the Arturius Great Shield. And you need all three of those to get the uh, really obnoxious achievement where you need to collect a bunch of random weapons to get the achievement. And to get... Um, that was annoying. To get the achievement, you need to literally beat the game two and a half times. Oh my, well, that's what happens if you're not locked on, because you have to kill Sif three times. Wow, and then this guy killed me. He has the high ground! He's dead. Ball or side sword? Rapier? That's not even close to what I want. Ah. <sighs> Buh -buh. Uh, yeah, so that's an annoying achievement. Alright, so this is Lordric. He's... Then I am in luck. Cut his dick. Uh, jerk. Hmm, whatever. Um, talk to him, free him. You can fight him here if you want, I don't suggest it. I'll show you the easy trick to fighting him. In a bit. I believe there is a humanity over here. Totally worth getting. Yes. Always want humanity. I have six in the gauge, just chilling out right now. Not really using it. But it's helping my drop rate, so why the heck not? The only thing I can do really with it is to unhollow and to make bonfires more kindled. Imminent boss. That is a true fact. Be wary of flyers. The gargoyles fly. Uh, if you guys are having trouble with this boss, you could drop your white... Here, I'm going to drop... Oh, I should have dropped it earlier. I can drop my white sign to see if I can actually help anyone. I got this boss fight pretty much down. Oh, that's a black separation crystal. That is not at all what I thought it was. There we go. Whoops. So now, what that does right there, if... Um, uh, a player, another actual player is come running around and is in human form. He can see that sign on the ground and he can summon me. And I go into his world and we fight the boss together. It's very whimsical. Um, but I'm not going to give it enough time. Uh, Solaire's gold summon sign is up here if I was hollow, or living. And Lordrix is around here as well. I forget the exact location. The guy just freed. Um, with that said, let's bell gargoyle. I'm at full health. You should have two gold pine resins right now. I only have one because... Well, yeah, there goes my summon sign. Um, because I accidentally used it at the end of the battle. We're going to put it on before the boss is actually summoned for safeties. And we're going to go bell gargoyle. Skip it. All right. Key to this guy is not getting hit, obviously. Charge in. And then beat the crap out of him. His reach is pretty good. Drink. Get a dodge. You can actually... Uh, I'm actually doing very poorly for some reason. Um, oh, see, he's got his buddy coming now. You want to kill him before his buddy comes. You can see the damage of the plus five halberd. Um, and the electricity just crushing through these guys. Like, that was 274 damage in one hit. We're going to play it cautious, because why not? Um, lightning's going to run out soon, but I'd rather not die. Basically, you can just wait for him to do that attack and then just poke him down. Um, if you don't have a plus 5 weapon, the fight is a little more challenging. I actually did very bad that fight. I'm going to admit to that. Not too happy with that battle for some reason, and if you're using, well, well that's true. Um, if you're using like a one-handed sword or something that's not very large, like a halberd, you're definitely going to want to two-hand it just to get that extra damage. I'm not with a big enough shield, you could probably block their attacks, but what's the point? Just try to dodge, despite my poor display of how to do so there. 
Um, yeah, and with the gold pine resin, and if your weapon's just a plus anything, really, you should be able to take down the gargoyles. If you use Solaire and or, and or Lordric or another player, you should be able to get them down pretty easily. Never uh, be afraid to summon another player. There's nothing wrong with that. Solaire does the job pretty well. He's a big, goofy tank, kind of. He surprisingly does a large amount of damage sometimes. Uh, what I just did was ring the first bell. We're ringing two bells. That's kind of our goal right now. To get into Zen's Fortress, to get to Anorlando. Yeah. Um, that's one bell. The other bell is behind Quaylog. Which is in Blight Town. Which is a horrible, horrible, horrible place. I did it. This guy is Oswald. I am Oswald of Kareem. As he will say. Come when you do bad stuff, um, like leaving a Coveden, or getting indicted, I believe, or killing NPCs, you get this um, soul price put on you that you have to pay to this guy to get removed, to make everyone like you again. Um, it won't bring people back from the dead, but if I attacked a merchant and didn't kill him, by doing that it will make him like me again, or if I abandoned a Coveden and they hate me, or kill someone in the Covenant, and they hate me, I can pay this guy, and they'll like me again. As long as I'm not the guy that gets you into the Covenant. Anyways, um... Request Absolution, I've done nothing yet. I have not sinned. So... That's good. But that's where the price would be, and the price is based on your level, not your bad deeds. So, sin early, I guess. And, most importantly from Oswald, is this gesture, which is, well, what is it? Which is the best gesture in the game. You don't believe me. That's fine. Um, let's go to the gesture menu. Let's take away... Mm, point down. Nope, let's do point down. Let's make it into... Well, what is it? Or commonly known as... Come at me, bro. Or... It's a popular gesture for the, I don't know, giant dads. Which, I'm afraid to say, or not afraid to say, this character will not become. Ray, the halberd-wielding pyromancer, will never take role of a giant dad. Sorry. Let's put this here. Even though I've killed gargoyles, if I actually get summoned, I will go back to help them. And I get a bunch of souls for it and a humanity. So, pretty cool. Pretty worth it. And you're helping your fellow man. Oops, I did not kill these three Balder Knights, so they are not going to like that move. But I have a big pokey weapon. And they have poor range. But I love their weapon. If that Baller side sword... This is the only... Whoa! Not good. That was a targeting fail. Um... The Balder side sword could only be dropped by killing these guys. And it's an amazing sword. And if you're looking for a good one-hander with a great poke, which you haven't picked up yet, I love pokes, I strongly recommend it. And it's right there. Nope, that's a rapier. Two rapiers. Well, that's another summon stone. Not doing too good with this potion moving thing. You can only have one of those signs around, so when I just put that one down, it removed the other one. So, game-wise, this is usually the part where I like to go clean up the things I haven't done yet. What I mean by that is to go kill the Black Knights. There's two of them I skipped. And to go kill Havel. When I go down here, my summon sign will go away because, I don't know, they have a certain range. <sighs> to summon someone, you have to be, like, kind of close to their level, so... I mean, I'm level 18, I think, so that's probably slightly high for this area, because I did those f those farming and cheap farming techniques, so I'm probably a little ahead of the curve right now. Ooh, that's a lot of points. Let's do that. I like to have health, I like to have endurance. The Halberd's strong initially, plus the plus five, so I'm not too worried about the stats. And before you upgrade it too much, it's a DC. Oh, there 
when I start doing that again. It is a... Oh, you have to be kidding me. It's like a, it's a joke. It's because X is toggle display, display and it's also... Whatever, it depends what screen you're in. Uh, 165 physical is pretty good, and it is a DC. So I benefit more from strength, but I... Or, bleh, dex. But it's probably about equal in strength because dual wielding a strength weapon is a 1.5 to damage instead of a 1. Fun fact. I haven't backstabbed anyone in a while. And that guy is not the one to do it. Wow. Alright. Starting this off right. I said I wanted to backstab you. It's probably going to happen, buddy. 309 damage is a lot. So there's that. I got my poise breaker. He's got his back jump. I have my roll. He has his death. Alright. Didn't want to use a pot already, but whatever. So let's clean up. Ooh. Okay. I will show you this first. This is a good. Mm, I'm almost hesitant to show you this just because you're going to miss a fight in the game that's really freaking cool, but. I will tell you where it is when, we, when I get there. It's in Orlando. But this is a really, 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 really good ring. Especially really, really early in the game. And it's really easy to get as long as you're good with inputs. So we're going to go get that. I'm not going to rest at the bonfire because I want to home bone back to that other place. Again, this is a cheap method. There's the guy you freed. Ah, I have you. Gives you a sunlight medal. I'm grateful to <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> okay. What we're going to want to do is kick this guy off the cliff. He's not a good guy. You could take my word for that. And boom, he's dead. Just like that. 100 souls. No items. <sighs> so what you do now is you quit. That's foreboding. And you go back in. And there will be a little flame where he was with an item, which is a ring of favor and protection, which is amazing. And I think some humanity. But that ring, the thing that is bad about the ring is that it can never be removed. Well, it can be removed, but once you remove it, it's gone forever. You can get another one, but... Ugh, ring of favor protection is so good. Five humanity is a lot, actually. Um, I like to put this in the back slot just because I'm less likely to remove it. Boost HP and stamina. All right, so take a look at where I am now. Health and stamina wise, health will be obvious because it won't regen, but stamina will not be so as obvious, so much obvious, so as obvious. Boom, it's on. Oh, that's all that health just for wearing that ring. Basically, this guy kills her later. Spoilers. And he takes her Firekeeper soul. And you have to do this like mini quest to get it back. And then you can either keep her Firekeeper soul to make your Estus Flash stronger or return it there and then she can talk. But if you do that, this bonfire goes away because she's a Firekeeper. I usually bring her back. And if you're doing a new game plus, you're not going to have any trouble getting maxed out um, Estus Flasks anyways. Alright, I want a home bone on my bar. A home bone. That's actually usually the point where I make my Eskis Flask a plus two, but I figured the plus two would help on the Gargoyle boss, so uh, that's why I showed you it in that order. 1900 souls, probably pretty close to gaining a level. Nope, I'm close. 33,000, or 3300. 33,000 would be a lot. Alright. So we're back in the Undead Parish. I got here through teleporting through the Homeward Bone, which literally takes you back to the last bonfire you rested at. So even though I was closer to the Firelink Shrine bonfire, they're actually probably equally distant, and I probably just wasted a whole bunch of time and missed out on 5 Estus Flasks by not using the Firekeeper one. But I guess I proved a valuable point that I have no freaking idea. Enemy ahead, true. Longsword, great weapon. Strongly. If you can't get the baller sides, balder side sword, balder side sword, 
Longsword is a great alternative. Baller, baller side sword is more of a dex weapon, while the long sword is more of a quality weapon. Wow, I actually just kicked him. Means it has like equal strength and dex. I guess the halberd's mostly quality. A little leaning towards dex. Okay. So we're going back down here. We're going to get shot with arrows. We're going to kill some sword dudes. I love the running attack on this thing, if you didn't know. It's a lot better when you target enemies and don't miss. And it gets some weird FPS lag. Get continuously fired by arrows. And I continue to get weird FPS lag. Maybe it was the fires? I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. When it rains, it pours. sure what the issue is right now. I'm actually going to rest at this bonfire and check for technical difficulties. 